So we've got two varieties. So you might as well start with the Nintendo Direct variety. Uh, Bayo 3, after infinite time, has finally been shown off, announced. And this is something... I have to figure something out. I'm gonna I'm gonna decide how to approach this going forward, channel wise, because um, one thing is clear, right? Is uh, the the good people who who tune in and, and check us out and and enjoy the stuff we do love uh, when we what, watch. What good people? You talking to the shitheads that watch our shit? That's correct. Oh, they're uh, subhuman garbage, and they know it. They well, like it when you dump on them. You know. Eat the poop, you losers. So they like when we watch live events. And I understand that it's because you're rolling a game of, like, gacha dice, hoping that yeah. a cool thing that we care about will land and you'll get a oh, live yeah. reaction to that. But Or maybe you're going to watch a fucking Guardians of the Galaxy gameplay walkthrough again. And then you're, or nine out of ten times, it'll be something you either are indifferent towards or don't care about. So when the racing power hour comes on and I'm like, look, I don't care about these games. It's like I'm forced to either be just disinterested for an hour or talk shit about them, which I don't want to do because I understand some people like them, but it's just not my thing. Anyway. I, I, I have, I've settled on talking shit about stuff that I really do does think is sucks to um, at, at the very least I've ingratiated a new attempt into my brain which is like I hate this but the people that like it seems like this will be good for them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now the other thing is I plan my schedule you know very specifically around what time I have to make everything work in a given week and when things get bumped and pushed and such it, it, it makes it pretty difficult especially since makes it I'm, icky. I'm always coordinating with someone else when I'm when I'm recording mm -hmm. right and, and on top of I'm that I'm just coordinating with the state of my balls exactly right and on top of that um, a lot of the time I'm not paying attention to when said events are going to go down and such so this leads uh, this leads to a, a continuous thing which is a, a uh, very often like hey like are you going to watch the direct? Are you going to do a light swatch of the thing? And it's like, no, because I usually don't do those. And then it's like, okay. But then when it's going on, for example... Oh, you missed the big one! Yeah, so while Delta Rune is going, people are coming in to talk about, like, all the events going down. And I'm like, that's cool. I Like, no matter how exciting it is, including a Bayonetta 3 trailer, in my mind, if I'm playing Delta Rune or doing whatever I'm doing on stream, I do not give a fuck until I'm done and I'll go watch the trailer on my own. I'm just... It's just not in my 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 wheelhouse at the moment like i'm focused on this i don't want to give a fuck about Willie, that they announced street fighter 6 and it's out right now awesome i'll find out when i'm done that's a lie that's a lie that one it, i'm lie. i uh, you know what i mean like that's the thing is like it just if the like the podcast is something for example where we can interrupt it with a, with a trailer dropping and talk about that cuz that's what the format is and boy can we but if i'm let's playing something if i'm playing a game and and i i i'm not like i don't want to pump the brakes and go see the thing and then go ah and then, you know and then come back to like i hate that that annoys the shit out of me also most of the time i'm just not into like the other shit happening at these award show not award shows at these uh, uh, shows you know, when it's just like, yawn, whatever, someone's talking, TV, 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 blah, 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 sports, sports, sport. Like, I just, you know. So I've been trying to think about, I've been trying to think about how to, like, you know, uh, handle this. And I'm like, maybe there's a way, maybe I should just, like, record, like, almost like, because I know Max does this, for example. Maybe, like, let's say me and Reggie finish recording or whatever. We can go watch the trailers minus the show. And maybe put something like that out there, you know? And I think I might just do that. Because the whole, like, yeah, let's a, watch thing. Yeah, because I know people want it. And they've wanted it the entire time I've been on the internet. And I don't want to give it. It's not I don't want to give it to them. But I don't care about the, the, the watching the show. But this is a decent compromise, I think, you know? Because this show had a lot of really cool announcements. And I understand why folks are like, damn, what does Willie think? Does he know about Bayo 3? Does he know about Kirby and stuff? So, Bayo 3. I'm going to tell you this right now. This will solve none of the issues you just described 
because it will not be live. At the end of at the end of um, the the Delta Rune stream, I just put up text on the fucking frame that says, "Don't care about Nintendo Direct news." <laughs> So when people are jumping in to go, has he seen the don't care? Oh man, it sucks that you don't care about Bayonetta three. I figured you would like that game. Not while I'm not while I'm doing this. I'll deal with that later, you know? And I definitely So Bayo three did get a trailer. Let's just yeah. skip on back to that. Yeah. And they faked us out. Good. Because of the um, the military stuff, like so, one of the things actually in, in the re legitimate, realistic argument of watching things live is that moments that are meant to fool you, yeah, don't work if no. it's go watch the Bayonetta three trailer here. Yes, I clicked on a thing that said Bayo three, and then I saw military right. for for a couple seconds, when and I was the like, thing okay, comes through, and it I see the platinum logo hidden in a billboard in the upper right corner. Mm -hmm. I go, okay, it's platinum, and I think it's Bayo three, and then I see that fucking dog from Astral Chain, and I'm like, oh, you bitches, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then Bayonetta showed up, and I'm like, oh, you got me. Now that you only are. works in the live reveal context that yeah. one time, and then forever it's just a really long intro <laughs> with a bunch yeah. of stuff in it. Where you're like, "What? What are we doing? Why is this taking so long?" Yeah. Yeah. They even had to put like a things that said like not actual gameplay footage while the military shit was happening. Yeah. In case anyone thought that this was gonna be that, you know. Um, looks good, but much more interesting than the fact that it looks good. It looks like a completely... It looks like a game that got rebooted. Looks like they went, hey, so how about that scale bound? Which no longer exists. Can we use anything off of that? If scale bound was still going to exist, it would have been weird. But because it's, it seems like it's just not happening at all, fuck it. Wicked Weave, control your giant scale-bound buddy, right? Um, her design looks rad, looks really good. It's clearly got the Cereza twin tails going. That looks cool. Um, well, you know why, right? Uh, we don't have confirmation, but a lot of theory crafting has said, like, oh, this is going to be the game that explains how she gets the beauty mark because it'll take place as a either alternate universe Bayonetta from 2 or it'll be younger Bayonetta. I think that's a... I think that is a... This is my personal thoughts. But I think that is a different Bayonetta. It's like... Not just younger, it's like yeah. literally the one they sent back. A couple people, yeah. People again. The theory crafting is going pretty wild, and of course There's the trailer. A lot of stuff. It's it's not just like the makeup, but it's, it's like the dance, in particular. Like Bayonetta, whenever she did the the summoning dances, it was always like mm -hmm. a sexy pole dance. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one is not that. It's like an mm -hmm. idol dance. Also, um, she uh, 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 what should we call it? Um, so, the, well, there's the obvious where uh, it's not Helena Taylor anymore. Right. And it was like, if it was going for a younger, like, I guess, teenaged version of her or something, then it would be a bit more clear as to, like, why they'd be like, well, we wanted a younger person to voice her. But it sounds like she's doing, whoever it is, is doing their best Helena Taylor impression. Yeah. So, it's not and clear also, why they didn't go the with her. Helena Taylor was like, She's under NDA and can't talk about why she's not going to be playing Bayonetta, yeah. which makes me think that she's playing Bayonetta. She's n just not going to be playing the Bayonetta you spend most of the game playing as Bayonetta. But, like, do you think that she... Okay, if that were the case, then what she did would be a fuck-up because it makes it seem as if there's, like, a, a, a beef between her and Platinum. That's quite possible, yeah. And that would be a bad play to just be like, haha, I was in it anyway, but there's no there's no bad blood here. But the way she was I, phrasing things short and terse and like, sorry, can't speak NDA sounded like it wasn't exactly a pleasant relationship, you know? I think what we're looking at is uh, the Nerofication of Bayonetta. It could be, but... Because I think... <sighs> that the the 
character at the end of that trailer with the samurai sword is also Bayonetta. I originally thought it was Jen until somebody pointed out that it has the Cheshire Cat doll hanging off the sword. Huh. Okay. Interesting. The thing is, though, is that the idea of her secretly... Because I've seen a couple people talking about her secretly being cast as a different character slash an alternate Bayo slash the original Bayo or whatever. I don't think she would have tweeted that out in that way if she was in the game participating as an I don't know. A, original as, Bayo. Like if as she, we've discussed, voice actors are the leakiest people in the game's business. And I'm taking that into consideration, but I just feel that, like, again, like, if she is a part of the game, and this is just a bit of a play as to her not being the main thing, why would it sound so antagonistic? Like, it legitimately created a, an energy that people are all going like, oh, what the fuck? Where's Helena Taylor? Why is she not reprising the role? And then on top of that, the thing you did hear is not clearly something different. It's similar, you know? So it's almost like, well, you could have just got her to do that. Let's say Kiefer yeah. Sutherland showed up and started doing his best David Hayter impression. Then it would be like, what the fuck? Why even bother? You know? But he didn't. He just did Kiefer. You know? So if, if but like in this case, what you're hearing is someone attempting to sound like that similar style. So that's where I get confused by it, you know? I think the I, game's called Bayonetta 3 because they're going to be three Bayonettas. I don't, like, whatever that theory crafting stuff is, I just, I don't imagine, like, it'll involve her if that's the way she's talking about it, you know? And if she is, then she did, she shouldn't have done that. Because right now people are, like, kind of coming to her defense going, what the fuck, at her not being in it, you know? Anyway, other stuff though. The reason I say that is because the Bayonetta logo literally gets sliced into three moons. Okay. I mean, we saw one of them die in the first reveal, right? I don't know if that game still yeah. exists, but like that meant I something. I don't think that game still exists. It meant something, right? There's not even like a smidgen of a hint of any of that. I'm curious. This. One thing I'm curious about is seeing all that, like, scale-bound play happening is you're controlling that and doing that while she's running around. But, like, will you be able to beat shit up and combo while simultaneously controlling the giants? Because she's not ever fighting anything while you're seeing the giant control. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm wondering if they're actually going to keep it in a way where you'll have to do versus controlling both at the same time because like it feels like a natural thing because the camera is staring at her staring at the monster i don't know lol yeah the way it's um uh, cuz then i'd feel like if it was not going to do that then you'd put the camera on the wicked weave and just follow that fully you know but her running around in the in the foreground or, or or so is what makes it like feel like scale bound and what's makes me and it's what makes me think you'll probably have to fight some shit too. Um, that's cool. I like the updated design, uh, sort thing. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean not much else to say really. But uh, I guess the one thing is like it's nice that like the um, like it, it's nice that the existence of this has taken. All the anger that existed with the thought of Bayonetta 3 prior to that trailer drop. And is now yes. just people going like, yay, excitement for new game. I, I wouldn't even call it anger. I'd call it like a, a, like a sigh and like a throw your hands up and let them drop. Mm -hmm. Kind of just like, <sighs> come on. They, you know, I've said it a million times. They fucked up by announcing it too early. Um, but like, it just like, it, it's so... I hate that it, like, when you do that, when you fuck up by announcing something too early, you create frustration that leads into anti-hype, you know? Yeah. Um, it, 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 it's such a, a, a fucking, like, mistake to make, but... Like, if, the biggest mistake you can make? But uh, it seems like what they showed has everybody, you know, pretty uh, pretty hyped for it. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what this, what this is going to break down into. Like... Like every single day from from announcement, 
expectations become higher. Hmm. Just and, and at a certain point, they either become so high they're unattainable, or uh, they like invert on themselves, and people go, "Oh, it's either never going to come out, or mm-hmm. when it's been in development so long, when it comes mm-hmm. out, it'll be trash." Yeah. Like, uh, would you rather have nothing? Yes, unironically yes. and honest and straightforward. Absolutely. I would rather be like, I hope a Bayo 3 happens someday and then be happily surprised last week, you know? Um, so, uh, there's that, and then, of course, alongside it came the statements where Kamiya basically came in and said, hey, this new guy that's directing it, um, he's a young pup, but he's got, you know, a lot of potential, and I'll be around, but this guy is kind of crazy. He's crazy because he works harder than me. You know, and he's more obsessed with get with like getting this right than like I would have imagined. So he seems to be talking up uh, pretty big praise. So that's that's you know we'll see we'll see. I mean, Platinum can't just be the Kamiya company, right? We've seen a couple other directors stepping in and doing cool shit. He's too busy making Soul Cresta. Takes all of his time. 